What's up everybody? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess. Thanks for clicking on today's video. I have a short and sweet video for you today. It's basically what I've been up to the past two weeks. Some great words of advice. I had some epiphanies on my weight loss journey that I want to share with you guys to help motivate you, encourage you, you know, all that, all those feels. <laughs> um, but before I jump into that, I do want to say I'm not a medical doctor, not a healthcare professional. This is just my story on how I am rewinding my health from a morbidly obese weight to a healthier, happier weight, living a keto, low carb, high protein lifestyle, and truly putting in that work to change those unhealthy habits into the new me standing before you today. And it's something that isn't going to happen overnight. It's something that has been going on in the background for the past five years. So if you want to hear more stories about that, you know, my experience, stuff like that, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. And with that said, let's jump into today's video. And before we jump into that real quick, I do want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Element. <laughs> Element electrolytes are the absolute best electrolytes in my opinion. I have relied on these now for several years. They are the only ones that I use. They are gluten-free, sugar-free, no dyes, no fillers, no colors, no artificial flavors, just a delicious tasting electrolyte. And in addition to that, they're a science-backed ratio of electrolytes where you're getting in each package 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. They taste so good and they have been really a great way to get my water in because it's we're approaching summer. I am sweating so much. As you can see from here, this was this morning's workout. You know, when you sweat that much and you live a keto lifestyle, it's real important to stay hydrated. So I reach for Element Electrolytes every day and I put one packet in my 40 ounce Stanley and I sip on that throughout my workout and then I just refill that cup three times throughout the day and that ensures I get my water in. So my favorite flavor is the watermelon, but you can get this free sample pack containing all of the flavors and try which one is your favorite and you can get this for free with every order using my special link down below that is only available to the Keto Rewind community. So go to drinkelement.com forward slash Keto Rewind. That is D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash keto rewind. Thanks Element for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I have been slightly busy. <laughs> I swear everything in my life happens on a Monday, which conveniently is the day that I I have planned since I started this channel five years ago to upload my videos on. So if I don't show up on a Monday, it's not because anything went wrong, it's just because things just got away from me and I'm busy. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for always tuning in and wondering where I am. It's It warms my heart and I love your support. So thank you, thank you, thank you. With that said, <laughs> uh, I had a great week and I've been crushing it behind the scenes. So for the longest time, probably like a year ago or so, I would always be like, oh, when I had to make a video because I felt like I never had good news. I was always messing up. I was always failing, you know, but I had some good moments. So I want to talk about those. And it was just that ride of emotions. Well, like, I don't know, look, since I started the 75 soft challenge where you walk, uh, you exercise for 45 minutes a day, you drink three liters of water, you know, you read a book, you eat your, do your best most of the time with eating food wise, you know, you s limit yourself to social drinking, that kind of thing. I didn't think at the time that I was going to stick with it. Little did I know, I don't know how many months it's been, what, it's been several months, you know, October, November, so November, December, January, February, March, April, it has been six months that I've been, st I've stuck with this. 75 days has long and gone. <laughs> so much so that I continued my own challenge with like the summer slim down challenge where I'm gonna do this until June. Um, but my goals changed a little bit from that. That was my inspiration. And now my goal is 10,000 steps a day. You know, I get my water in, I read every day, I'm doing keto, I'm doing some fasting, you know. I just tweak things to make it work for me, right? Of, of which I suggest you do the same because obviously what works for me does not mean it's gonna work for you. Um, but take, the, take it with a grain of salt and apply it to you and your life. So little did I know back in October, here I would be in April, still doing it, you know, like still getting those walks in. And I have felt so good. I have felt so happy for the longest time. I have just felt 
like me again, like I felt. And the more that I make good choices throughout the day when it comes to my eating, my, my exercise, my, my life, it makes every little thing else start adding up. And it's just this, I'm in a good place, you know, and I've not been beating myself up for all the failures and for always messing up or not being able to control myself. And all of those things just quiet down and like, go away, you know? In addition to that, when I'm getting my 10,000 steps in a day, it's usually a walk. As you can tell, I'm starting to get some color. You know, the weather's been fantastic. It's not too hot yet, but it's not cold. You can still wear like tank tops, but not die out there of heat exhaustion. I bring my element and sip on it while I'm walking. You know, it's just a lot of thoughts come to my head when I'm walking. It's like, it's the therapy I didn't think I needed because like random stuff doesn't come up on like a Tuesday afternoon in the middle of, you know, a softball practice with my kids. The thoughts are not even there. You know, it's not about me, but these walks are all about me. And then it, and it's just me and my thoughts, my music. And it's just like stuff pops up in these walks and I've been working through it for the longest time, trying to make sense of it. You know, just working those issues that bubble to the surface, embracing that because it's like, okay, my head thinks I need to think about this right now. And it has been life changing. So if I could urge you, please, please, please get up off the couch, go for your walk go to the gym, take that yoga class, meet a friend and do, you know, whatever class together, like a step aerobics, whatever it is, do it because that's your time to get better. And I, as we were at my daughter's softball practice the other day, her coach was like, you know, he was getting on them because they were starting to get sloppy and like do like just, just kid stuff. They're 10. Their focus is like, like the size of an ant, you know? So, um, he was getting on them about, you know, just not doing the same thing every time. So when you're taking your swing, you know, you know, not to be sloppy about it, like have thought process through it so that it becomes muscle memory. It's just something that you do and it's ingrained in you, right? When you have sloppy habits, sloppy habits start getting ingrained. And I'm sitting there like, is he talking to me? <laughs> you know, like I'm starting to feel like, you know, like, you know, I feel attacked here, but I was just sitting there and listening to him. He's like, how, but, I, but as I was sitting there listening to him, he's like, how you do the little things is how you'll do everything. I'm sitting there like, I feel so attacked right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's not about me. This is just in my head, right? So I'm sitting there. I'm like, he is so right. All the little things that you do matter so much. It's not necessarily the big things that you do, but it's the little things because there's so many of them. And those little things add up big over time. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, I have lost 22 pounds since October. Yes, that's like three pounds a month. Yes, there was some ups and downs through the holidays where I had to relose. But like this last month or so, I have been killing it, crushing it. Like coming back from the dead, you know, that kind of thing. But just coming back with like fury and focus and, but it dawned on me all the little things I've been doing that have seemed so insignificant, like going for my daily walks, making sure I actually walk and take that time, reading my book instead of scrolling social media, you know, getting my water in, making those choices to eat keto and do my fasting and clean up the diet. All those little things have amounted to change. You know, and my body's getting back again, like I'm coming back. And it's so interesting how the little things have been what have made the biggest change, right? So when you're doing the little things behind the scenes, correct, or the, that when you think no one's watching and your body is, <laughs> you know, your body's writing down what you're putting in and what you're doing to it. And it's doing its best to come back with you because it wants to feel good. You know, it's, it sends you all those hormones and all those things in your body for a reason. You know, we want, it wants to survive, right? So it's interesting how things have all started to come together, how my routine of going for my walk used to feel weird. And now I just go for my walk. It's just what I do. No big deal. You know, I walk, I, I, I just walk. And some days I walk more than others. Some days I can't get the walk in because it's a softball tournament for my kids. So it's just, the little things just have started to line up and make for this grand finale. You know, like I'm in that home stretch. I'm getting close to my goal weight. You know, like I have a way, I have a ways to go, but I can see it again. For me, for the longest time, my goal weight was as I was halfway 
on my journey back, you know, in the wrong direction, right? So now I'm like, I'm approaching it again, you know? It's like, oh man, I, I could be there. I could do this. I can do this. And it just was one of those things where I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So long story short, the little things determine how you do the big things. So for me, switching my diet by cleaning up all of the crap that I was eating truly made a difference. And it also got the second thought that came into my mind on another walk that I had this past week was it's that restricted thought process where I, when you cut everything out of your life, you feel restricted, you rebel, you know, so that when you have something, you lose control. So I was thinking back and forth, you know, like what is easier for me? Is it easier to have those things in my life, like sugar, processed foods, you know, the things that standard Americans eat, that standard American diet, the thing I so desperately wanted to eat, um, but I knowing what it does to me, all the other stuff, all the consequences that happen when I have that, is it easier for me to have a little of that in my life and try to control it, or is it easier to just say no to the first bite and avoid it? and have the control and the peace that comes from not having that. So I just thought a whole entire hour of a walk. I'm hashing this out. I'm like, if I, if I, if I get too restricted, I rebel. And next thing you know, I want all those things and I can't control myself when I get the hit, right? Comparing it to like an addiction, the sugar addiction. Cause when I had that first bite of uh, Reese's peanut butter cup, I don't want just one. I want the whole bag of Reese's peanut butter cups. And that, that is just something that is me and I can't control it. And after five years, I have come to the point that I can't control myself around that stuff, no matter how I try to excuse it or justify it or make sense of it. I just have not found a way to not want all of the Reese's peanut butter cups and not just one. So for me to make my life so much more simple and to quiet the noise and to feel good, like my body truly feels good when I eat keto and low carb and high protein. And it's, and it's the thing is, it's easier to say no to that first, so making this, so, so this makes sense. It is easier to say no to that first Reese's peanut butter cup than it is to take a bite and walk away from it, you know, or just have the one and not have the rest of the bag. So for me, I find if I just don't have the Reese's peanut butter cup, I go drink my water, I go do something else, I find something else to give me that bliss in my head, it is so much easier to say no to that first bite. Once I've had the first bite, it's like an addict, you know, like I can't just have the one. So it's so to avoid all of that and to feel good and to have my goals and to push myself and to challenge myself, I decided I can't be that person that has the one. I just have to give them up. And that's okay. That's what makes me me right now. Maybe in the future, after it's been 10 years, <laughs> maybe I could revisit that strategy later. But right now I know what I need to do. And it is to say no to one <laughs> and just not have those and not try to control myself and go down that wormhole, rabbit hole. So um, I decided with myself, I'm like, okay, so it's just easier now to just say no. Like when my kid's running around with like Sour Patch candies and say, hey mom, you want one? Normally I'd be like, yes, I want one. As soon as I'd hit that one Sour Patch candy in my mouth, I was, I'd be hunting that bag that my kid had for more, right? So if I just say no to the one, I move on and it's like, it's not, it's been such, it's, it's so much easier to do the little thing right in that moment and just, no thanks, and walk away versus dialing into that urge to like try to fight it. And I'm so tired of fighting that. So tired of feeling that out of control feeling and it's just easier and makes more sense, keeps my sanity to just say no to the first time, the first bite, the first offering, whatever it is, just, it's just easier to, nope, comes out of my mouth and I'm okay with that. And I, I've been doing that now for several months. And it's like, at first it was really hard, but now I'm at the point where I'm not, the sugar hasn't been in my system for so long that now I'm getting stronger. Like I feel that strength to not be, not make it a big deal and be like, oh man, I really wish I could have it. So it's just weird how all these thoughts have come through on like my walks, <laughs> but it did bring me to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm just not having that anymore. I truly have to cut it out if I want to make the change because the new Jess, the Jess that I want to be 
is not somebody who eats that way. That is not the textbook of health. Sour Patch Kids are not in the, the or Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are not in that poster of health. It's not, it's common sense, you know? So I'm making it a bigger deal than it needs to be. So it's just, nope, I don't eat that way anymore. Here's what I do eat, this is what I have, and you know, it is what it is, right? Accept that, it's not something that, that's what works for me. That's, that's probably the best way to save this. And after five years on this channel of going through all of the trenches to try to figure this out, that is a conclusion that I'm pretty sure I have to make at this point. <laughs> and it's just, if I don't have the one, I don't have everything else that falls after it and I stay in control, I feel better and it's, it's worth it in the long run because I'm fighting for me. And the, all those little things, all those little no's that have been happening in the background, you know, like my body's changing again. Like I, I could see collarbones coming. I could see my arms coming back. You know, I can see my, my waist, you know, like it's, it's, I'm coming back and it's because I'm doing those little things. So I know this was like a huge tantrum of, you know, all the stuff that's happening, but it's just starting to make sense and it gives you that invigorating sense of I can do this and the motivator and I had to share that with you guys to you know to see someone else that has truly struggled with obesity try to fight these things and try to come back and you know and share it publicly which is really hard <laughs> you know how much easier it'd be for me to not come and make videos anymore and share this stuff and make a fool out of myself every week you know but I know I'm not the only one here that battles this stuff, you know, and I, if I can help just one person, all of those videos, all the videos that I make and will make and have made <laughs> will all be for something, right? So at the end of the day, I do thank you all for your support. I encourage you to find your own way, use my story, you know, and use it as inspiration, you know, do what I do, do parts, do some things that I do, avoid what I do, whatever the, whatever it is, just, the point is get up, fight for yourself and do this. So I have, uh, I think 54 pounds left to lose until I get to my goal weight. I have, I forgot to mention, I haven't given a weight update in forever cause it's been like this, but currently as of today, I'm 234. My goal weight is 180 pounds. So I have 54 pounds left to lose and it has been melting off for quite a bit lately and specifically the last four weeks or so, most of this weight has come off <laughs> and it feels so good. So I'm down two pounds since the last time you saw me, but like my official as of today of 234, which I have not been this weight in so long. I don't even know how long that's how long it's been. <laughs> so I started keeping a log on my phone to pay attention like where I've been because I've been all over the place. I don't know how much I've been. I just know my scale has been like this and I'm ready to continue making these changes and fight for myself. So I'll see you at the next one. I am Jess. Comment below if you are still getting your steps in or if you're doing any activity, I wanna hear all about it. And don't forget you can get this free sample pack with any order using my special link. I'm Jess, you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.